Hi there, Gaylin here, design team member for Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a really sweet pickle card today. It's for a pregnancy and I am using Metallics Pearl Gel by Decofoil and I'm also going to use a little bit of coloring for the pickles. I'm using Unity Stamp Company kit called In a Pickle and I'm also using um, Rustic Wood Paper Pack. I'm using the green wood this time. And I'm also using Deco Foil Metallics Gel in White Pearl that's found in the shop at Unity. And I'm using a Faber-Castell spatula. I have um, My Creative Time scalloped stitched oval dies and also one of their retired heart stencils but any stencil will do to make this background i like to use archival ink and i'm using versamark ink and a powder tool for um, the embossed sentiment i use a ranger craft mat it's in a plastic craft mat for mixed media projects like this and i line up where I want the stamping and the stenciling to be so that when this is done, after I trim that, uh, after I trim the embossed panel there, I'm going to uh, die cut it later and I wanted it to be lined up properly. Um, in this case, I did not die cut first. I'll die cut later. So I use a very small layer of this metallics gel and I use a spatula to spread that around where the hearts are in the stencil and um, scrape off any excess and it's very important after you're finished to clean your your spatula and your craft area and your stencil um, and also to close your uh, the gel bottle just to make sure that things don't dry before your before your um, you know, you're, before you're finished with everything. So you want to wipe off excess and then run it under soapy water. So now I'm using the Mini Misty to stamp the pickle jar and the sentiment. And for the sentiment, I'm gonna heat emboss it in white and then trim that into a little flag shape. Now I wipe off any excess powder there after the embossing is dried. Now um, for the pickles, I decided to use Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers or pins, and um, these are water-based. I decided in this case, since the image is so small, that I'm not going to I'm not going to use watercolor paper. I just used 80-pound cardstock, and I uh, just go in with colors and multiple layers. Um, I started with blending with a water brush, but I decided, uh, you know, I don't really need to do that for the whole thing. I just start with a, a darker shade come in with a medium shade and then finish with a lighter shade of those greens so i did that uh, to finish the rest of the of the the stamped pickle jar and i just um, pick some coordinating colors any colors will do with any any image this is going to be for whitney at unity i just wanted to make her a special card because she's expecting so um I'm doing this, I'm doing this before she knows I'm doing this. <laughs> and so after that's finished, I heat set it to make sure everything is dry. I use Distress Ink for the edges just to go around that pickle jar. And a tip that I have for um, die cutting after you've embossed something is to use waxed paper in between the die and your embossing and run that through the die cutting machine. It comes out real clean and clear. Your hearts and your, your stenciled image looks just perfect and your dies don't become messy from the embossing paste. Uh, so uh, that was really a fun tip that I like to do. I found that online. So um, you just layer all the the pieces. I chose to use some foam tape and flat double-sided tape. And I'm using hemp twine or hemp cord thread to just tie an accent to the top of the card. I hope you like this. It's really fun to do and it's easy. Take a moment to like and follow me and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.